how to use the reflected gradient feature in Photoshop CC 2019. Now, first thing to do is just quickly go to the gradient tool. And before I do that, I'm just going to quickly show a few examples of reflected gradient. So you've got, you can see there, reflected gradient just at the top there. And I've got a few layers I created earlier. So you just see, just clicking through the visibility there, you can just see that they're all reflected. So one color on the other side is reflected. So just right from the center, go to the other side, black on the other side, black on that side. And again, through there. And now you can set that at 90 degrees or zero degrees, 180 degrees. You can see the design there. And I'm just going to flatten that image again. You can see it nicely reflected. Now I'm using the guides. That's the key thing here. So I'm just going to select a gradient there. And what you can do, you can just go to, once you actually set, you can see the gradient preset there. Click OK. Makes sense, reflected. And drag over from that to the new guide layout. So you set it like 4 or 4, 8 and 8 or whatever, just as long as it's something like that and you can just drag the hold the shift down and just drag out from that center point drag out to the edge or drag out to the second or third etc once you've done that you can actually just quickly go and say edit and define pattern and that pattern is seamless so you can actually use it as a seamless pattern and you can see just select another gradient again using the there at all and you go upwards instead holding again holding the shift down that's again reflected. You've got black at the top, black at the bottom. All the colours are reflected. Set that to difference, blending mode of difference, and maybe set a different gradient, and then just add the gradient again. Click OK, define it as a pattern via the edit menu. And once you've done that, you can actually, of course, you can create some additional ones. Just again, drag out from the centre to that line, or anywhere you want, particularly. But obviously, the centre point is the key thing really here. Define pattern again, and you can create a whole load of complex pattern designs very quickly using this technique, just by using those view the guide. Now, once I've just done that, define that pattern. Now, of course, you can actually apply effects in the middle without damaging the seams as well. But new fill layer pattern, you can just see there, click OK, and you can use this as a great way of creating some reflected patterns as well. Initially, it starts with linear, but select the reflected and the style. Once you've actually done that, you can see again black at the top, black at the bottom, all the colours are all reflected, and you can see there purple in the middle, green at the sides, and so on and so on. Go through a whole range of different gradients, change the angle between zero and maybe set it to 90. You can duplicate that layer, click OK, double click on the there, and then just change the angle to 90, click OK. Once you've done that, what you can do, just go to the blending modes, just run through those, you can see there you've got I'm just going to go for difference, just like that. And again, you can go to the flatten net and then edit and define pattern. Okay, okay. Again, you've got another seamless tile layer, new fill layer, and pattern, so you can actually see it's seamless. And you can then obviously set it to 50, 50%, 100%, 200%, whatever. You can see you can move it around. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.